Welcome to Harmony. In this video, we'll explore how you can shape your data for better analysis. A Harmony project contains different items or variable types. Harmony applies first-pass automation to map the data source variables into Harmony variables when creating a project. Let's look at some variables in the project tree. An axis is typically a question. Elements are answers to a question. Measures contain numerical values. Grids are automatically created when Harmony identifies common questions and answers in your data. Grids have two dimensions, variables and elements. Verbatims contain raw text. They are used to analyse open-ended questions. Combined items are automatically created from single variables if the variable name in the source is the same. In the project tree, variable colouring is used to identify the harmonisation between data sources. The items coloured in green are present across all sources. Items in blue are not common across all data sources. In this example, we run through some data design to shape our project. First things first, make sure the edit mode is enabled. Selection of items in the project tree displays context sensitive design options. Let's add a heading and move variables inside. Headings are used to create logical groupings of variables and to ease navigation. Next is to rename variables in a way that makes sense to users. You can change a single label by double clicking or by selecting the item and using F2 on your keyboard. You can change multiple labels using search and replace. Design options allow you to change label cases. In Harmony, you can change the display labels to harmonise items across different data sources. Through one-to-one -one relabel or search and replace, you can merge different axes or elements to harmonise your data sources. In Harmony, you can create customised constructions to suit your analysis and reporting requirements. Combine allows you to combine multiple items. You can combine axes to create a multiple response axis. You can also combine elements, for example, to create a top two box. You can create new variables using items that already exist in the project. First, select the position in the project tree, then choose one of the options under Construct. In this example, we'll create a new axis. After naming your axis and the first element, the Expression Editor opens. The Expression Editor is the interface to define new items. The Expression Editor supports both typing and drag and drop. Save Expression will save your definitions but will not update data. Data is updated when you apply Expression to the axis. Elements in an axis can have a value associated with it. Values allow the calculation of averages. The project is looking good. Let's do some final edits. You can hide items that may not be relevant for other users to see. Hidden items are not available for other users once you publish your project. Now we're ready to publish the project. Our next video, Publish and Share, explores how you can collaborate and share your project and data with others. Thanks for watching!